hello guys can you check this application out when we click any button it changes the background color you can see guys so that is that guys let's do this using we are to auto done if you want to type along with me can you install the phone one npm install we are to auto done so that is that guys with all said and done let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating three folders now i saw a folder called the first one assets then call the second one components and call the third one pages now let's take the first one assets now in this project we have no spinners or images so we leave it blank move to the next one component components let's create three files call the first one main page yes then call the second one navbar dot js then call the third one color pages color page dot js so that is that now let's take the first one the main page now with our main page let's take our AFCE Okay, so instead of ordinary div, why don't we do it? We have dot fragment. So inside that we have a section and a div to say hello. Now let's link this to the app.js to view on the screen. So we go to app.js and call our main page. Good. Now let's import the main page. We go up, import main page from component and main page. Now let's check our screen figure hello on the screen. Great, you can see guys we got hello on the screen, it means we're ready to go. So let's reposition everything. This is mobile first. So with our hello, what do we do next? Now let's take the hello off and just give it a background color. Okay, the hello then it's a class name. So over here we give it what uh, BG 500 width, full and height screen. So that is that. Uh, now let's work on the navbar. So to work on the navbar, we need to go to the navbar, then call RAFCE. Then instead of ordinary div, why don't you give it? We have a fragment. So let's so inside that we have a div to say hello. Now this navbar, let's connect it to the main page. So we go to the main page, then inside the uh how to collect the the main page, we create a div then call navbar. Then let's import navbar. Yeah. So let's see, we got hello on the screen, meaning navbar is also working. Now let's go to the navbar and do the styling there. Now let's take the hello off and give it a class name. BG white width full height 20. So that is that. Now what next? So inside that, let's create a div to contain all the P tag, which is going to give it our calyx. So we have our P tag with first one, we say red. Then we repeat this. Blue. So that is that, guys. So let's give them a class name. Yeah, we say BG White, uh, with full MX5 text through Excel, high system phone board, and uppercase. Good. So next is to uh, break them into equal parts. Okay, instead of flex, I prefer to use grid. So we say uh, grid, grid calls four and give them a gap of what? Four. So that is what we have here nicely. Good. So that is that. Let's give the P tag to some class names. So with the P tag, we say rounded with 28 BG red 500. So that is that. Now we let's create a, a P, uh, a centered class to center. Uh, they to bring the red to the center okay so let's go to uh, css uh, app.css then create a custom class called center so inside of uh, we have display flex justify item center align item center so we're going to add this to the class name so here we say center so that's that you can see so let's copy this and do it for the others too so that is that guys we've done it for all of them so next thing to do now is to to get the pages for all the colors so let's go to the uh, color page then we say array fce 
Then inside that, instead of ordinary div, why don't you say we have no fragment? So inside that, we have a section and a div to say hello. Now let's leave the let's link the color page to the main how do you call it the main page. So, so over here down here we have a div here to say color page. Good, let's import color page. Good, color page is ready. Let me check it out. Good, so that is that with the color page. Now, what we're going to do next with the color page is what get all the color pages. Okay, so to get all the color pages, we need to go back to the pages. So, the pages, let's get all the colors ready. So, the page first page is going to be red. So let's give it a class name and say red for JS. To red a J R E F C E. Instead of ordinary day, why don't you make it to the fragment? Okay, so inside that we have a, a div and a section and a, a color red with full height screen. So we do likewise for this rest too. So next one is what? Yellow. So we say yellow. JS REFCE Good. Likewise, we have a section and a div to say point. So, likewise, the next one to blue JS REFCE. Did that as blue, so that is that mess is what green. So let's create file green. But JS inside that array FCE inside that we have a green. Okay, so now that our pages are ready. Now our pages are ready. We need to link them to the color page. So we go to the color page. Let's import route and route from the app router DOM. So we can link it to so where we say route. Good. So inside that we can now have the route. So closing. Then inside the route we can now have the element. So for red we say Give us a path and element red. Let's do for the others too. So we did for yellow, blue, and green. Now let's import all of them. So we import red, we import yellow, we import blue, we import green. So that is that with the color page. Now let's link the color page to the the list and how do you call it? It wants it has been linked to the main page. So now let's link the main page. To the app.js so we go to app.js then link the main page the main page is here so we need react router we react uh, we need browser router from we have router dom so let's import that so now let's link it to the main page okay. so that is that the inside the browser router we have the main page so next is to check it out if it's, everything is working. So to check it out, let's uh, go to, uh, let's say, uh, let's call any of the pages, let's say, blue. Didn't change to blue. Okay, let's take this red off. Let's go to main page. Main page, main page, okay. Where is the red coming from? Let's go to the color page. Color page. Everything is okay here. So what next? I don't know what is going on, man. Yellow. It's working. So where from this red? 
see it really. Okay, it's working. I think this word, I need to just change this word. Locate this word, where this word is coming from. So let's go back to the, the main page. Okay. This background is the red. Let's take it off. Good. Now let's go back again. Good. So why this space? Okay, let's go to the main page again. Wait for no no should even wait for let's take it off. We screen no, let's take it off. Let's, let's check it out again. Okay, this is what we need. So guys, when we say uh, the last one is what green. Oh sorry, I didn't spell it well. Green. So you can see green is also working. So that is that guys. Now what we're gonna do next is to link the article it the the buttons to the to the color so that when you click it's it's what to change the background so well, to do that we need to go to the what's the name let's close this close the blue green close this up the gs you don't need you we don't need this one to go to the color page you don't need you go to the nav bar okay so the nav bar let's call the What's the name? The nav link. Okay. So let's import nav link. So inside the nav link, we import it nav link from we have right or dumb. Now let's call the nav link into the p tag. So we do that. So let's do that. So here we can say nav link. Nav link. Okay. Now link link to a to equals what where this was slash so that is that let's close that so inside that we have what to red yeah. so that is that for red so we're gonna do likewise for the rest too so let's do that and then let's copy this okay and do that for So that is that less when you know say so that is that uh nav link has been connected to the p tag so let's check it out if there's any complaint good no complaint good so what we're gonna do okay it's working oh it's not working only the yellow is working okay so let's work on the let me say yellow then we come to Blue and then next one green. Alright, let's check it again. You can see yes, it's working. Good. So what we're gonna do next is to give it uh, the nav link. Let's give the nav link a class, an active class to to be able to display the active link. So to do that, let's create an active class. So we say const active active link equals to the I would say invisible okay the next one and we say give it a normal link normal link let's make it empty so now let's create the condition in the class name for the nav bar nav link to to call the uh, active link and a normal link okay so let's go down and here over here we say class name so over here we see call the class name and say if it's active 
then give us what the active link that we created here otherwise give it the normal link so let's copy this for all of them so i copy everything from here to the nav link now not to the class name good so we go down here do likewise paste it the next one to the same after the delete the next one the same now link after that is that let me rearrange it So you can see yes, we've done it for all of them. Good. So let's check our screen if we got any issue. You can see no issue. So now we are in red, we are in yellow, we are in blue, we are in green. So that is that. Next is to bring the the nav bar to the center of the page. So to do that, let's make the nav bar uh, what's the name? Let's make it absolute. So we go back to the main page, main page, the nav bar over here. Let's make it absolute. So we we say so where we say class name absolute half top is half, then left is three. Now that is that. Let's okay. This needs to be sent. So let's let's call try this one. The nav bar. Let's go to the inside the nav bar and send that so that the, we have the well the name the uh, button coming into the center so that is why let's go 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 where do we go to the nav bar good then we center it so we can say over here let's add center class to it center center to it good that is that guys so we good to go so so that is that that is that that is that so now let's look at uh, oh, okay let's look at the uh, making our app responsive okay so we say to do that let's go to them we need the main statement page then we say give the uh, class name give the main page we give it a class name then we say relative good so that when we increase we can here okay, we can have it the relative then we say we say at medium you can make the width to fit then at same medium you can make the mx or now let's check it out you can see guys we still have uh because of the relative we still have a nav bar inside the the, the the page so now let's push the nav bar a little to the right so let's say at same medium screen so we come to the absolute and the absolute let's give it some medium screen so at medium screen make the nav bar make the left Push the left 20. So let's check it out. You can see, guys. So we got what we want. So that is that. So cool. So that is that, guys. Thank you so much for sticking through. Catch you in the next one. We say peace.